Hello friends, welcome back to my new lecture. Today we are going to solve a second problem on the fin. So before going to second problem, we must go through the video of first problem which we have already seen. Then and then only you can see the second problem. So let's read the second problem and let's write a given data given in the problem. Let's read it carefully this one. Okay. A steel fin. A steel fin K. So there is a fin whose K thermal conductivity is given to you 54 watt per meter per Kelvin. That is the first given data with a cross section of equilateral triangle. So cross section of the fin in the previous problem it was given circular. Now cross section is equilateral triangle. You are knowing what is meant by equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle is a triangle where all three sides are same. Okay, so equilateral triangle is the cross section now. Of a 5 mm fin side. So side of that equilateral triangle is 5 mm. And we are knowing all dimension we take in meter. So 0 0.005 meter. Okay, the side of the equilateral triangle is 0 0.005 meter. Okay. And 80 mm long. So length of that particular fin is given to you 80 mm. And 80 mm has to be converted into meter so divide by 1000 so it will become 0 0.08 meter okay so length we have done in meter it is attached to plane wall maintained at 400 degrees celsius so the fin is attached to plane wall whose temperature is 400 degrees celsius let me draw let me draw first of all fin figure for better understanding so let's consider that uh, Fin is there which is equilateral triangle. So let's consider this is equilateral triangle with all three sides are same. All three sides are same and it is attached to plane wall. Let's consider it is attached to plane wall as like this. This is a fin and that is attached to plane wall. So plane wall can be drawn as like this. Let's consider this is the plane wall this is the plane wall we are considering to which the fin is attached now what is the equilateral triangle this is the equilateral triangle this is the cross section this is the cross section of that equilateral now what they are told side of this particular side of this particular is how much side is uh, 5 mm so 5 mm will become what in the meter it's a point zero zero five meter and length of this so let's consider this is the length of this particular fin. The length of fin is given to you 0 0.08 meter. Okay. That's what given to you. Okay. Now what they have told is it is attached to plane wall maintained at 400 degrees Celsius. Now this fin is attached to wall. This is wall. Which is at a temperature of 400 degrees Celsius. So temperature of this is given to you what? 400 degrees Celsius. This is 400 degrees Celsius. Okay, so 400 degrees Celsius is wall temperature in our world. We say T0 because it's a base temperature. Because it is a base temperature. Okay, let's go for next data. The ambient air temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. So ambient is 50 degrees Celsius. So this is 50 degrees Celsius, which I say TA. TA is 50 degrees Celsius. And H is 90 watt per meter square Kelvin. So it is H given for air. So H for air which is going to you 90 watt per meter square per Kelvin okay that's what 90 watt per meter square calculate heat dissipation rate by fin considering infinite long fin so what they what they have asked they have asked about determine heat transfer so what we have to find out heat transfer what we have to find out is only heat transfer they have asked from fin and at the same time they have told that the fin is infinite long fin the fin is what infinite long fin so we have to use all formula of infinite long fin okay so what we have to determine we have to determine the q from a fin so let's go for determination of this let's go for determination of this so how we can determine q from fin how we can determine q from fin let's check it you must know you must know the formula you must know the formula for heat transfer when it is infinite long when it is infinite long fin so as we already discussed q 
from fin if it is infinite long if it is infinite long we are having a formula of h p k a which is cross section into t0 minus t that's the formula for infinite long fin right now let's check what are the things given what are the things known and what are the things unknown in this particular formula h is given in the problem h is given in the problem how much is h h is given 90 Perimeter don't know, but we can determine it. Perimeter we don't know, but we can determine it. K is given in the problem. K is given, which is 54. Cross section currently I don't know, but I can determine it. T0 is given in the problem, that is 400 degrees Celsius. And TA is also given, that is 50 degrees Celsius. So if I check in this particular formula, I know H, K, T0, TA. Unknown thing is perimeter and cross section. Perimeter and cross section of what? Equilateral triangle. So I have to determine equilateral triangle perimeter and cross section, then I can solve the problem. Now let's go for perimeter. Let's go for perimeter first of all. For P. What is the perimeter of this particular? What is the perimeter of this? This is equilateral triangle. So equilateral triangle perimeter is summation of three sides. Or I can write three into side. What is side? 0 0.005. Okay. So perimeter can be determined very easily. And the perimeter will come after calculation. It's 0 0.015 meter. That's the perimeter. That's the perimeter. Now for cross-sectional area of this. What is the cross-sectional area of this? Cross-sectional area of triangle we are knowing. The cross-sectional area of triangle is what? Cross-sectional area of triangle is one half height into base. That is simple formula of triangle. Now for the current problem if I draw if I draw the triangle once again triangle if I draw the triangle of like this whose side is given to you whose side is given to you 0 0.005 okay and if I give the name as let's say a b c and if I draw the vertical line as like this then it is d okay with respect to this if I consider height and base what is the height height is ad height is AD and base is what CB now what are the things known for us that we have to check CB is known because side is given to you 0 0.05 so CB is known now I don't know AB AD I don't know AD how we can determine AD AD can be determined by a Pythagoras theorem here it is 90 degree Pythagoras theorem applied for what applied for the triangle ADB Pythagoras theorem applied for ADB. What Pythagoras theorem says AB square is equal to AD square plus DB square. Okay, so Pythagoras theorem says AB square is equal to AD square plus DB square. Now what is AB? AB side is given to you. Side is given to you 0 0.005. So let's write AB. AB is a point 0 0.005 square. AD I want to determine because I don't know AD. So AD square I will keep as it is. DB, DB is 0 0.005 by 2. 0 0.005 by 2. So 0 0.005 by 2 comes how much? I will write as it is 0 0.005 by 2 square. You can make it by 2 and then you can determine square. Okay. So from this only unknown is AD. Only unknown is AD. So let's determine AD. Let's determine AD by the calculations. So AD must comes ad must comes equal to 0 0.00433 meter you can check the calculation by calculators okay so this is ad is 0 0.00433 meter why we are determine ad why we are determine ad because i want cross section and what is cross section one half ad into cb so i can determine cross sectional area now i can determine cross sectional area now what is the cross sectional area now one half ad what is ad ad is 0 0.00433 into cb what is cb cb uh, sorry cb correct cb is nothing but a base and base is going to point zero zero five okay that's the cross section area so determine a cross section area do your own calculation and it must come one point zero eight two five into ten raised to minus five meter square that's we have got cross sectional area now why we are determined cross sectional area why we are determined cross sectional area that you must know 
because I have to determine heat transfer by using this. So where I require cross now put all the values here. Put all the values here. Okay. So let's put all the values over here. That Q fin is equal to Q fin is equal to Q fin is equal to under root of HPK. What is H? What is H? H is 90. H is 90. P. Perimeter we are already determined. How much is the perimeter? Perimeter is 0 0.015 HPK. What is the K given? K is 54. Area. Cross section area is now we are determined. What is the cross section area? Cross section area 1.08 into 10 raised to minus 5. HPK into T0 minus TA. What is T0? T0 is given to you 400 minus TA is given to you 50. Okay. So we can determine this calculation and we can write heat transfer from this particular fin. It must come near about 9.832 Watt. 9.832 Watt. That's the answer that heat transfer from given fin. Thank you very much for listening.